Welcome once again to this uh, broadcast. We are looking at uh, the Healing Confession by Gloria Copeland and this is the Healing Center platform and I'm glad to be your host. I hope you do enjoy a wonderful and a glorious uh, Christmas and uh, I wish you all the best even in the new year and uh, we have actually you know, started back on this channel after about a week or so break that we had the intention is for you to enjoy your time with your family in this Christmas period. But all the same, if we had just a short break and we are back again trying to share on the Word of God because it's very important that you learn how to confess the right words because it's the right words that will put you on the track of success. When you have the right words coming from within, and let me tell you something about this confession we are talking about. If you don't have the word of God stored up within you, if you're not rich within with the word of God, it will be very, very difficult for you to actually fight the battle of life. That is why I will advise you to go to our gospel platform and uh, you know get a brief on how to do a 2022 uh, Bible plan for yourself and your family because you need to read the Bible. You need to study the Word of God. When that Word of God is stored up within you, when you need it, it comes out voluntarily. You will not be forcing it. You know, it comes out all by itself to deal a blow on every single challenge. Remember, it is called the sword of the Word of God, the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. And that sword is what we overcome with. If you don't have it, how will you overcome with all the things going around the world today? So when you are rich with the word of God, then you are bound to have victory. You are bound to overcome. You are bound to be a winner. You are not going to be a loser in life in Jesus' name. And I declare by the power in the name of Jesus as we navigate into the year 2020, uh, every of the outstandings you have that you are waiting for God to sort you out. I take authority in the name of Jesus. I declare that every issues of concerns are turned to testimony prophetically in the name of Jesus. You know, there are things God can actually deal with in as much as we share with you the principles of the Word of God. But when it becomes so much under pressure, God can actually pull you out of debt. Situations of life that appears to be difficult, you are wondering, how can I get out of it? I pray for you right now that God will enable you to overcome them. God will enable you to live in victory. And that victory will be a victory that will be resounding in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So I'm praying for you right now. I, I declare by the power in the name of Jesus, whatsoever it is, issues of concerns in your life, God is turning them to testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning all the issues, all the concerns you have, God turns all of them to testimony right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Confession starts right away. These are the confessions I make, you know, because in life you have to confess. The right confession brings the right result in your life. If you confess right, you live right. I tell myself all the time that I belong to the strong, healthy, and the faithful family. What did you tell you? What do you tell yourself in that situation of life? where the life wants to squeeze life out of you you know you understand what i'm talking about so what do you say at that point in time that is the time you have to speak right words speak positive words don't give up on life i, I want to share one brief story on this um, episode we're just going to be sharing life stories because those life stories they are powerful they are things that will enable you to cancel out the negative things you have said in the time past and start orchestrating your path, preparing yourself, decorating your future with the positive words. I remember uh, there was a certain guy when we were in school, we called him Biggie. We were all together in the university and at a point in time we finished our school, we wanted to do clearance. I remember he traveled all the way to Oba to come down to the east, Namdia School University precisely to do his own clearance and prepare for NYSE, what we call National Youth Service Corps. But what happened was that, you know, the guy had accidents shortly after his arrival. He arrived on Saturday and on Sunday trying to do a road walk in the village, hometown in Oba. A car ran into him and he died. 
you know, when I was having a conversation with his friend, someone who was very close to him, and this was what the guy said. He said they were together a couple of weeks ago, and uh, before that time, and uh, Biggie said to him, he was supposed, Biggie was supposed to spend like uh, a week or so with him, but after spending three days, Biggie told him that they may not see again. You know, using that rant, that that kind of words, the guy was surprised. Why won't we see? Uh, we are friends, you know, and that was the end. Biggie did not see his face again. The only time he saw Biggie, Biggie was not able to respond to him because Biggie has already dropped dead and the burial procession was ongoing at that point in time. My friend was so scared he could not enter. He felt that if he enters to see Biggie, Biggie might drag him into, into hell as well. But that's not the case. What I want to bring out from this discussion is the fact that you have to be bold. You know, speak the right word. Tell yourself, I belong to the strong, healthy, and a faith youth family. If you belong to the strong, healthy, and a faith youth family, speak it up. Speak it. Say it to yourself. Don't be scared. And that is what I do. I tell myself, I belong to the strong, healthy, and a faith youth family. I refuse to lack. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be sick. So I have the royal blood running through my veins. My father is the king of kings and the lord of lords. That is the greatest confession that you can actually make over your life. You belong to the royal family. You have the royal blood. What? Running through your veins. Your father is the king of kings and the lord of lords. Is your father the king of kings? Is your father the lord of lords? If he is, the Bible says, ye are gods. So don't die like mere men. Don't fall like one of the princes. Tell yourself, I know. The Bible says that they that do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. I wasn't looking like this all the whole time. There were times that when you look at me, you'd be wondering what's wrong with this guy. But God delivered me by words. By the word of God, I was delivered. I started speaking that word of God over my destiny. And here we are today, enjoying the fruit of the lips of the words that we are speaking. So this confession... Healing Confession by Gloria Copeland is for you to set yourself free from that hospital bed. Maybe you've been there for a long period of time and you're wondering, when am I going to get out of here? Tell yourself, I refuse to be sick. I refuse to lack and I refuse to be poor. You might be wondering, what's the coloration with these three words? The devil is mad hearing you say that. That you refuse to be sick, you refuse to be poor, and you refuse to laugh. He, he is always mad because he doesn't want you to, to say that. He knows that if you get yourself free from one sickness, from two poverty, that he has lost the whole battle over your life. And uh, that is why we fight so hard sharing the word of God because that word of God is what sets us free. So I want to encourage you speak the right words speak the right words all the time don't speak the wrong words don't allow the enemy to take over your speech over your you know your speech faculty speak the right word tell yourself i'm unstoppable and when you say that you become unstoppable praise god so i want to be praying for you right now and if you want to give your life to jesus you want to pray right now just pray after me say dear lord Thank you for your word. I give my life to you. Forgive me my sins. Erase my name from the book of death. Write it in the Lamb's book of life. Take my life and make a miracle out of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for making this decision. I welcome you to the family of God. I encourage you to study the word of God and pray. Your life will not be the same. Keep winning. Remember, we are back. Our live streaming will soon be on air and when it's on air we'll let you know remember the last time we streamed we did not stream under this platform called the healing center we streamed under the gospel platform so in case you want to watch the video the link to the description is in our last video so get the link to the description to the last healing confession we had before this one and uh, enjoy the whole prophetic ministration and prayer deliverance because we are still you know the prayer is still running and it will continue to run as we enter into the year 2022 share the link let everyone know we're going to be setting a calendar the next one we're going to be doing we're going to be returning back to do it here on this healing center platform because i these uh, the, the platform we have been announcing it from the very onset so a lot of people are familiar here so that they will also connect and also be part of this so keep winning keep achieving greatness and see you next time. Bye for now.